It's Brandon with Lawn Care Marketing Success checking in with you. What we're going to go over today is how to build your own basically graphic design, if you call it that. But I'd say designs for a Facebook header, a blog header, anything like that. I use PicMonkey.com. As you can see over here, I've got royalty features, which means that I pay their fee yearly to use the software, but it's actually quite phenomenal. So what I'm going to do today is just teach you guys, even without using these royalty features, even with those turned off, you can just go into design, hit blank canvas, and we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is build a Facebook header. So the first thing I'm going to do here is pick out the canvas I'm going to work on. Facebook header, completely free, no charge to it. It's going to pop up here. And we're going to apply it. Now, you know, in the lawn care and green industries, we really try to make some poppy artwork. So you can go, you know, in here real easily and design something kind of cool that pops out. Find a little bit of clip art on the internet, although you do have to make sure you're using things that are legally usable. You don't want to use somebody's personal stuff. Get sued for that. So um, I'm just going to avoid that today and show you guys how to create one from scratch. But we can do my lawn care company. So we're going to do my lawn care company. And I'm going to take this, and I want to really make this pop out. And I'm going to show you guys this with all the free features. And then for anybody who wants to see how the paid features work, I'll show you that on another day in time. But what I'm going to do is an aerial black. I like to make my stuff pop out a little bit more than most. And I want to make sure that this stands out um, above the rest, to be honest. So with my lawn care company, we're going to go ahead in here. We're going to place that right there. Boom, my lawn care company. Now... We really want to make that pop out. We definitely want to make that stand out. What can I do here to make this pop and stand out? Well, because I'm doing a lawn care company, I'm going to go in and I want to pick something cool like Pyrus. Pyrus is cool. This is actually a paid feature, so we're going to not use that one for the time being. Let's go to paper. We'll use paper. We'll use an older school style of paper. And we can mess around with the way that paper lays. I want to go and do a hard lighten just to see how that pops out. I'm going to do a hard lighten and then we're going to save it. So I hard lighten that. That's all I did to make that effect pop out behind my letters. And now I'm going to scoot over here and what I'm going to want to do is add some shapes. A little bit of depth to what I'm doing. Uh, the cool thing about PicMonkey is they do also offer you guys, for those of you who don't do graphic design or people who want to pick and pull, you can just come in here and have a whole assortment of things you can put in. Say you're trying to represent, you know, you're a lawn care company, but you also care for trees, shrubs, things of that nature. We could just run like this. Set that in. Looks really cool. And then to really get some effect to it and not be so bland and one colored, what we're going to do is duplicate this here. We'll bring that duplication in and we'll want to offset the color to really make that pop. We're going to offset that color, really make that pop out from behind there. And as we make that pop out, um, one of the things that I like to do is pull in leaves, other effects that I can really make stand out and above par, um, a little bit different than what you normally see. So I'm going to make these stand out. I'm going to come in here and just drop a few leaves to make these things pop out. So I'm going to be dropping these right here so these leaves pop out. And I really want to see these leaves jump. So we're going to continue to duplicate these and make sure that they pop out perfectly. So as we make sure that these pop out, we're going to continue to grow with the way we're doing our patterns here. And these patterns are going to turn into our layout. So we've got my lawn care company. Now what I always suggest doing is putting your website at the bottom. So we're going to go www.mylawncarecompany.com and we're going to drop the website across the bottom of course I want to do that because that's going to lead people to my site I'm using this to promote my business I want them to find me if they're looking for me and we're going to make this pop out and fit just right here so we're going to put that in there because I put that there I want to up this image just a little bit to get that kind of out of my way but still making an accent on the actual goal that I'm doing and now what we're going to put in here is get your first treatment for only $39.95. <clears throat> now, this get your first treatment for only $39.95 is just an upsell within my header. I like to do that. I like to try to pitch things within my header and change it up just a little bit. But we're going to do an upsell within the header, and we're going to do what we call a double layer here. We're going to make it pop out a little bit thicker where it jumps out at you. It's a little bit too big, so we'll size her down. And then we're going to center it. And that there is going to be the upsell that I'm going to be pushing with my message. Get your first treatment for only $39.95. Now I'm going to take that $39.95 and I'm going to tighten that up and bring in a greener, darker color. 
that right there is what I'll use as my lawn care header. If you guys see this here, I'm also going to save it so you guys can see this on my website. But making a header literally just took us five minutes. We've completed a lawn care company header, and that should be something that you're doing as a business all the time. If you have any more questions, any more comments, any more concerns, you can check us out at www.lawncaresuccessmarketing.com or www.lawncaremarketingsuccess.com. And see what we have going on. We've got a lot more coming for you guys. Thank you for checking us out.